Oh, hello there, fellow trainer. Can I ask you to do a quest for me? I used to be a fellow Pokemon trainer like yourself until I took a Pokeball to the knee. And now I spend my time researching Pokemon and making card opening videos. However, after my move, my set disappeared and I have to start fresh. So I need you to create my set for me so that my videos will have a lot of splendor to them and have interesting things to look at. You can use anything in my warehouse to create the set. Thank you for your help, Trev. Wow, this recording table is pretty bare bones. All the professor has on it are these pop figures, something from One Piece, and then a couple other things. He said he was opening a Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer box. Let's grab one of those and put it on the table so that he'll have it ready to open. Oh, the Ultra Premium Collection. Gotta have the Ultra Premium Collection. It's a reminder what he'll be able to open at 1,000 subscribers. There we go. This Legacy Evolutions box looks nice. Let's put this in the set. This will look good behind the pops. Looks better already. Well, there should be some kind of anime waifu figure. Down you go, next to Nami. Professor's gotta have something with Snorlax. This pin will work. On top of it all, a plushie is in order. Perhaps this MetaZoo box will work as well. And a Spider-Man to top it all off. All right, there we go. The new set is... Wow, that bag is hard to open. We have the Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box. You'll have to forgive the overall poor quality look of the set, the shakiness. You know, I am on such a flimsy table, a little bump, and the whole thing shakes. So until I can buy another sturdy table for my computer, I have this awful little flimsy table to record videos. Such a pain in the butt. But I don't think you clicked on this video to hear me rant about my awful recording setup. Rather, watch me open the Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box. Nice. It's such a beautiful design on this thing. The player's guide has all the cards in the back. I was trying to keep spoiler free and it just, it couldn't happen. There's so many gorgeous secret rares. There are character rares in this set and hopefully we'll pull some of those. Yoink. Please hit the follow button and like button so that I can get a better desk. Now the first thing we have are some deck sleeves. This is actually a really, even though it's the same thing that's on the box, it's a really nice design. Look at that gold, baby. Look at that gold. Anyways, this is the first pack that I've opened by myself. Let's see if we can get that first pack magic. Arceus is on the cover and uh, admire some of the art too. The, oh yeah, they have these new code cards, right? There you go. New code cards, four to the front. And oh yeah, new energy. Of course I knew that there's new energy cause I couldn't keep free from spoilers, but they just keep adding stuff into kind of the same design basically. Ultra Ball. Good to see that that's going to be in the competitive season for a while. A Vibrava. Kind of cartoony design on that. I, I do like that artist a little bit. Not so much. Some of his work's very strange. Tropius. The Milk Drop is playing in the Autumn Leaves. Ball Toy. A Snow Runt. Very minimalistic art on that. It looks really nice. Clink makes a return. A Reverse Impidimp. That looks like it's out of Paper Mario, and our first rare is Lipard, so garbage. Coffee ice cubes, and a beautiful Arceus set symbol dice with gold flakes in it. So much gold in this set. Oh yeah, and then you got these new V-Star counters, so instead of the GX counter, you have a V-Star counter. This one's kind of hard acrylic. Booster pack two, little belly rub for Whimsicott. I believe all the Pokemon on the pack arts you can get as V-Star Pokemon, which is the new thing. It's replacing, I don't know if it's replacing VMAX. I think they uh, found out that it's not actually a replacement for VMAX. Wow, the quality. Look at that. Look at that. That's horrible. Fire Energy. Cynthia's Ambition. Torkoal. Double turbo energy. I bet that'll use some play. Wow, my goodness. Look at that magmar. Look at that magmar. Spiritomb. Burmy. Impidimp. Again, two packs in a row with Impidimp. Star you. Oh, there we go. 
There we go. An auxiliary character. Is that a character rare, right? I mean, you have the trainer and the auxiliary. TG, this is, this is the separate character rare subset. TG, three out of 30. And go lurk. What that edge do? I think a lot of these character rares really aren't worth that much because they are more common. The uh, trading card game rules. That just, <laughs> that book, I swear, keeps getting larger. A brick of energy. You get the standard status counters. Card dividers, you put them in your box. Divide, divide your cards. I, <laughs> this design is so good. And then a code card for the whole ETB. Some lucky guy will get that. Another one, Charizard belly rub. Oh, come on. We at least have to get like a full art or uh, something like that out of these. Can't get away completely skunked, you know, since the character rares are just inserts. Fighting energy, clay doll, fresh water set. Got to get some fresh water. Keep hydrated, kids. Star you, spirit tomb, like spirit tomb. Impidimp! <laughs> Three packs in a row with two of the magmar. What's all these duplicates doing? Clefairy. Oh, oh, beautiful holographic Moltres. I like that card. Another one, Shaman. What do we get out of this? Uh, clearly a Ryolu. All these absolute garbage duplicate cards. Is the whole set just, oh wow. Is that normal on lightning energy? Is that, or is that an error? You got red and blue in the background. That's, I didn't see that on any of the others. Kindler, smoking a big joint. Like, that joke hasn't been made by a dozen other Poketubers. Printplup, Shiren's Care, Ryolu, Starly, Cumdrop, Carablast, Clefairy. Oh, all Mewtwo's in this. I wonder if that you can get as a hollow. And, oh, it's not the alternate art. It is the regular V because the because the set symbol because the number is 122 out of 172. But we've done it, boys. We have gotten Arceus V, the god Pokemon himself. What a gorgeous card. What a gorgeous card. Hey, if that's the best card we get out of this pack, that ain't too bad. And we're only halfway through. Another character rare. Belly rub for Arceus. Another character where it would be pretty nice. Or, you know, the Alt Art Charizard, which is currently going for about $200. That is kind of my chase card. I do really like that art. Mostly because it has Venusaur in it. Yeah. So if we can get that card, that would be great. Leaf Energy. Okay. They maybe all have those because this one does too. Weevil. Dusclops, Morgrim. They should have done Morgrim in the same Paper Mario style as Impidimp. I think that would have looked a lot nicer. Carablast, Clefairy, Cherubi, a little cherry. Reverse Grim Snarl. And on the back, a Breloom. Keeps showing up in sets for some reason. Of course, the alternate art Arceus V is also going for a lot. And the golden Arceus V Star. I think is going for quite a lot. Any of which, nope, uh, okay, that was on the other direction. Any of which would be fantastic. Dark energy. Bear tick, see, it has this paper mache style or whatever. Looks freaking great. Clap Stadium, Luxio, Cherries, Salk, Corpish, <laughs> Galettes, uh, they're following each other. Jim Echo. A reverse Shimchar. And yes. <laughs> That's what I want, my boys. An alternate art Raichu V. You can tell it's alternate art because the set symbol. I keep saying set symbol. You can tell it's alternate art because the set number is high. 158 out of 172, boys. Because there are so many alt arts in this set. A Raichu V. Not necessarily alternate art, excuse me, just the full art Raichu V. I don't know if there is an alternate art available in this set. Yes, boys, we've done it. There may only be 
alternate arcs available for Arceus and Charizard. These I think I've got to hide so people can't just scrub through the video and then see what I get at the end. Charizard and a Shaman. Not a bad box. Okay, out of our next pack. These, these, I swear these keep getting turned around the opposite directions. And sometimes in Brilliant Stars, instead of getting an energy, you get this V-Star. It's like, it's like the acrylic counter, but it's just a shitty card that no one wants. Pot Helmet! Is this the upgraded version of Brock's Saucer? Sigilif, Ercerola's Premonition, Chimchar, Minchino, Baltoy. A lot of duplicates, a lot of duplicates. Reverse Corpish, and a Mothim. We're down to our last pack, ladies and gentlemen. Charizard, will we get it? And by it, I mean the Altar Charizard out of a Charizard pack. Code card. No, okay, that was the same. One, two, three, four. Water energy. This, the line through it, I, I actually really don't like. Gabite, Gloria, Staravia, Sork, Corpish, Glet, Carblast. You can get a full playset out of one ETB because they're so common. Jibble, and a Drudagon. I mean, out of our whole Elite Trainer box, Hollow Moltres, pretty nice. And Octillery is our only character rare. I thought those were supposed to be a little more common, but between Arceus V and our full art Raichu, that ain't bad. Thank you for watching. I have a couple videos coming through. We are going to open a full booster box from Brilliant Stars soon, so be on the lookout for that, as well as some other videos. Spider-Man thanks you. I thank you. Please do hit the like button, subscribe, ding the notification bell. It would mean so much. And if we get 1,000 subs, we're going to open <laughs> our Ultra Premium Collection. And probably buy a less wobbly table. So, we'll see you next time. Professor, out. Oh, and if you're still watching at the end of this video, I did almost forget to give away the Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box code card. So, thank you for watching to the end. That's yours. Have a good one.